CISO Choice Awards Vendor Recognition with Richard Steenan. Hi, I'm Richard Steenan, and I'm speaking with Ed Martin, who's Director of Product Management at SecureWorks. Welcome, Ed. Thank you. Good to be here, Richard. Yeah, Ed, I wanted to talk about um, kind of a newer area for SecureWorks, which we all know is being one of the earliest and largest security uh, or managed security providers, um, and that is XDR. And kind of the combination, you know, so in my mind, XDR is what happens when you add in network and endpoint to all of the security analytics you're doing. And then, you, of course, you can pull in threat intelligence, which SecureWorks also has. Um, basically, it's an enriched capability for threat hunting and uh, alert triaging, et cetera. But talk to me about the marriage between having the product and, and the technology and the managed side of it. Yeah, so we started on the XDR journey before the term got coined, as you know. So we looked at this as an opportunity to bring endpoint network, business system, email data, all into one central extensible data lake. And we said, this is gonna be a great future for our buyers to come in and say, you know, where can I get access to all the data I need to perform threat hunting, incident response. Um, and over time, especially as COVID sort of drained on, we've seen the lack of security talent really highlight the need for security services to be layered on top of an XDR solution, especially as customers are looking to upskill their own teams or if they just have uh, skill gaps. Yeah. You know, it, it's, kind of the common way of looking at things is, hey, if you're a big company like Bank of America or, or you know any financial institution, you're gonna do all that in-house. And But if you're a smaller bank or a smaller organization of any sort, you should probably outsource it because you're not gonna be able to find the people to do it. Um, but are there instances of even very large organizations with their own socks turning to SecureWorks for help? Yeah, as security programs uh, mature, we're seeing obviously the uh, folks that have um, a smaller environment look to outsource a little more. They don't have the skill sets in house. And then the larger organizations are, are doing a good job of slicing their security programs into bite sized pieces. And then they make in house or outsource decisions based on each slice. And so in the larger organizations, you may see an MDR service that leads to some sort of internal uh, threat hunting or the vice versa. Maybe they have tier one and tier two resources, but may, might need to bring incident response and threat hunting in over the top. And so being flexible with the services that you provide now is very important. Cool, is there, is there such a thing as, um, you know, evenings and weekends service that, you know, people, you, you can't staff around the clock. I mean, that's yeah. the hardest task. Yeah, so some vendors apply this in different ways. Some vendors look at it as a dedicated service where we're just going to cover nights and weekends for you. Some vendors look to use professional services for some of that. And looking for a vendor that's going to um, work with you as you sort of upskill your team and, and slice that security program up is really important. Now, you know, of all the products I look at that are just for XDR and they're all, you know, SaaS or license kind of sales, um, what should people be thinking through when they're making the decision to get that or go to SecureWorks and get kind of super supported XDR? Yeah, so it largely comes down to what else uh, exists in your security program, right? So you want a vendor that's going to respect your investment. There are vendors out there that are selling XDR in closed ecosystems. In other words, buy all the things from me. Um, and sometimes that works for some folks. If you're looking for a single purchasing uh, workflow and a single invoice, that could be an adva advantage for you. Where SecureWorks is special is we look to respect your investment. So if you're someone who has accumulated security controls over time and you want a central location to be able to aggregate all that data, and then you want a way to glean additional insights on top of that data, that's where SecureWorks Tages XDR can really come through for you. If you've also sliced your security program and recognize the need for some services, our services teams can also come on top of that. So there's a multi-tiered approach. And finally, never underestimate the importance of embedded IR. The idea that having some way to just pick up the phone and say, I need help 
or enter a chat in SecureWorks case and say, I need help. And having the um, in, initial incident response covered by your service, really important. Yes, that's super important because every incident response plan I'm involved in creating says, you know, uh, know your contact at the FBI or the Treasury Department or something like that. But right. we can't all be calling our contact at the FBI. And they're more likely to pick up the phone if SecureWorks calls them than if my mom and pop, you know, muffler shop does. Having a vendor with strong um, government ties with strong community ties is really important. We obviously have 20 years experience in that space with relationships and strong understanding of how to run a SOC and how to protect our customers. But whichever vendor you choose, make sure that you're always looking for those strong deep ties into those very important knowledge centers. Now, help me, this is a very personal question that will help me as an industry analyst. So I track, I think, 168 managed security service providers. So doing the traditional managing your firewalls and sensors and gathering alerts and logs for you and telling you when something's going wrong. Um, but I've noticed, of course, that over the last three years, they've all been pivoting to become MDR, which meant that they got you know, they started selling Sentinel-1 or Carbon Black as well, so they could manage endpoints, at least the mm -hmm. security, and, and instrument them. Um, and I'm going, okay, that's kind of a low bar to call yourself MDR. Um, is XDR just the next evolution of that, or should there be three kind of tiers of classification that I should use? So if you think of, if, you, if we put labels aside for just a second, Mm -hmm. There are uh, security organizations that look to uh, utilize all the data in your environment. There are security uh, organizations that look to uh, utilize the data that they have a, that you have available in your environment. And there are security organizations that look to do one flavor or the other of the first two in their own ecosystem. And so really to me, MSSP to MDR is really an acknowledgement that the endpoint has a very important piece of your visibility. It's a very important piece of your stack and trying to cobble together positive security outcomes for customers with um, uh, just a few pieces of, of telemetry isn't going to be sufficient, especially nowadays with everything that we're seeing. So I think the move to, X, to XDR is formalizing the importance of um, endpoint network and cloud data systems or data into one system. And it's just saying in order to paint that full picture, you need to have visibility into all of those types of data. And the, the other thing I would mention is that um, while the endpoint, you know, rich, robust endpoint data is key to many threats, as customers move into the cloud, there, there's an, always a place for an endpoint agent, right? And so having that, that accumulation of telemetry, being able to apply your own threat intelligence to it 24-7, 365, key differentiator from what you might've seen in the legacy MSSP market, where it was more about pushing the detection to the end products and then just correlating the data that those end, end products uh, sent you. So it's a, it. it's a different paradigm. Yep. Yeah, thank you so much. That really helps me. And I'm sure our listeners um, learned a lot from this too. Um, thanks again, Ed Martin, who is the Director of Product Management at SecureWorks. Thanks, Richard. Always appreciate your time. Stay tuned for more from CISOs Connect, 